Hello, this is Wiley from Learn to Barbecue. Today's cook is sous vide barbecue country style ribs. Country style ribs actually come from the pork shoulder, or as some call it, the Boston butt. Also, they're not even a rib. I like to put down a couple of paper towels. By doing this, it makes cleanup really quick. As I lay out these so-called ribs, you can see they are actually steaks that have been cut from a pork shoulder roast. I then like to lay them out so I have plenty of space between the steaks so I can add seasoning. One of my favorite rubs is Montreal Steak Seasoning. It contains coarse salt, black and red pepper, garlic, and onion. Make sure that you season both sides and just be really generous. Uh, this is a great seasoning for both beef and pork and any time you have a steak sized piece of meat. Now for my secret ingredient and one that I just love. I am from New Mexico and we all love green chili here. I found this local provider, Mountain Man Gourmet, that produces this spice blend called Go Go Green. It's fantastic. To learn more about Go Go Green, their website is in the video description below. Now is the time to get ready for the bath. No, I'm not talking about me. I take showers. I'm talking about the sous vide bath. Now put three steaks in a vacuum food storage bag. Now repeat this process two more times. This part requires some care, for you need to keep the opening clean of any rub or debris. Now it is off to the vacuum sealer. This is the fun part. Just make sure you read the instructions. This sealer is the Gourmia GVS 445 vacuum sealer. The Gourmia works great for me, but I recommend you shop around and find one that fits your needs. As you can see, after it removes all the air and seals the bag, the steaks are ready for the bath. We use the Gourmia GSV 150 sous vide pod immersion cooker. We program the unit to cook for 8 hours at 140 degrees Fahrenheit. With the Gourmia phone app and Wi-Fi, I could keep track of this cook from just about anywhere. It's been 8 hours and it's time to see how our country ribs cooked. When cutting into the bag, make sure you have a way to capture all those juices. As you can see, these ribs look pretty good, but they're not done yet. Remove ribs from the container and lay on top of paper towels. Then with more paper towels, pat dry the top of the ribs. Make sure you do not rub, for you could rub off some of the seasoning. Now preheat your barbecue or smoker to 225 degrees Fahrenheit, then use hickory wood chips or pellets depending on your unit. While the ribs are smoking, you can prepare the basting sauce. Pour the juices from the cooking bags into a mixing bowl. You only need three ingredients. One tablespoon of garlic aioli mustard.
two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Four tablespoons of olive oil mayonnaise. Mix well and sauce color will go from a dark brown to a light cream color. Making the sauce should have taken about 15 minutes. So now back to the grill or smoker and start basting all those ribs. Now that it's been about 30 minutes on the smoker, the ribs should be ready. These country style ribs are done, and now for the test. Because this meat is more like a steak than a rib, the only proper way to eat them is with a fork and knife. As I cut through the meat, the first thing I notice is how tender it is. Also, after cooking eight and a half hours, there is not one piece that is dry. These ribs, without a doubt, are the best barbecue country style pork ribs I've ever cooked. Here is one big juicy thumbs up. Bon appetit! If you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And as always, we very much appreciate you watching.